Hello techies. In our previous tutorials, we have learned how to upload a file to the SharePoint site by using create file action. And also, we have learned how to update the content which is available inside the SharePoint site also by using update file action which are available under SharePoint actions. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn how to delete the file from the SharePoint portal using delete file action. Before that, let me show you a small scenario. In my SharePoint site, that is organization.sharepoint.com slash Power Automate Desktop tutorial site, I'm having shared documents. Inside that, I'm having Power Automate Desktop in the folder. Inside that, what I have, I have one folder and then the remaining files that I have, which I have uploaded recently. Now, my agenda is that I need to delete one of the file from the particular folder. How can I go ahead and delete it by using SharePoint actions? There we have delete file action to delete a file from the SharePoint site. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. This delete file action will delete the file based on the specific file identifier. If you see the parameters for the delete file action, the first one is the site address and the second one is the file identifier. File identifier is nothing but an unique ID to identify the file. All right. Now, every time we are going to give the site address over here manually, but right now I'm not going to do that. As a best practice, I'm going to set a variable and then I'm going to call that variable in the site address. All right. Now, let me go to the action panel and then I'm going to search for set variable. And then I got the action called set variable. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. And then I'm going to give the variable name as site address. And then I'm going to give the value over here. What is the value? Let me go to the SharePoint site. And then I'm going to give the site address over here as organization.sharepoint.com slash sites slash Power Automate Desktop Tutorials is my site address, all right? I'm going to provide the same over here in the value and then I'm going to click on save. So whenever you have the reusability, in that case, you can use the variables to set the values. Right now, I have given the value in my site address variable and then I'm going to use this in the rest of the desktop flow. All right. Now, once again, let me drag and drop delete file action onto the workspace. Now, over here, I'm going to give the site address. So site address already stored inside my variable that is site address. Right now, I'm going to select the variable as site address. And then the file identifier. This is a unique ID that what we have for the particular file to delete. Now, how can we go ahead and give it? Now, in our previous tutorials, we have given whenever we required the path, there we have given the path. But wherever we require to update the file, in that case, we have given the file identifier. That is the unique ID. Now, how can we go ahead and get the file identifier? For the time being, I'm going to click on save. Now, anyhow, we'll get the uh, Error as parameter file identifier cannot be empty. All right, let me close this. Now, to get the file identifier of a particular file which is available in the SharePoint, that we have seen one of the action called get file metadata using path. By using this get file metadata using path, we can get the collection of information about the file. In that information that we have the ID also, that is file identifier. Let me drag and drop this get file metadata using path action onto the workspace before deleting file action. Let me drag and drop. Now, I'm going to give the parameters for the get file metadata using path action. The first one is the site address. Site address, where we have, we are having already variable that is site address variable. Let me select that. And then the path, the path I will give it as shared documents slash pad slash what are the files we have that is i want to delete one of the file which is with the name of regex.xlsx file all right 
Now, the output will be stored inside my get file metadata by path response that we have seen this action in our previous tutorials. All right, let me click on save. Now, we will open the action delete file action to give the ID over there, that is file identifier. Let's double click on that. Now over here, as a file identifier, I need to give the ID. From where this ID will come, that is from get file metadata by path response, right? I'm going to give the same over here. I'm going to select the variable. What is the output variable that we are having? Get file metadata by path response. I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to take the ID over there. Now I'm going to select ID over here. So I need to pass it the ID for as a file identifier response. Let me click on save. Now, if you see the errors got resolved. Now our entire desktop flow is ready. Now I don't need this actions three, four and five. I'm going to disable these actions and then I'm going to save the desktop flow. Now let's run the flow to see the output to delete a file from the SharePoint by using delete file action. Let's run the flow. Now to make you understand, I'm going to keep the SharePoint site side over here when it is going to be deleting the file, the particular file will be deleted from the SharePoint web, SharePoint site. All right, flow execution started. As a first step, it is trying to set the variable and then you know it is trying to get the file information by using get file metadata using path. And there you can see over here, it is trying to delete the file by using delete file action. Now the flow has executed successfully. Now, once again, let's click on re refresh for the SharePoint site. Now, if you observe over here, the particular file that is regex.xl file has deleted successfully by using delete file actions as part of the SharePoint actions. I hope you understand how to delete the file from the SharePoint folder by using delete file action.